Uh, they uh, they took out a big. I mean, they, they, I mean, I think in, at least in in uh, a multitude of areas, you could say that they um, they mortgaged uh, a lot of uh, of younger people's futures in many respects. So, what what happens next? I mean, where does this where does this go? That's hard to say. Uh, if we look at the trends we have now, it's hard to imagine countervailing mechanisms or forces within the political system we have uh, that could make up the difference that has gone on over the past 30 or 40 years. So if we look at that rate of exploitation for, for wages to catch up to where compensation is, or for compensation to catch up where pr- productivity is, which is itself a process that would boost productivity. Uh, So compensation would have to go basically straight up. We'd have to see employers double people's pay out of the goodness of their own heart or of their sense of social progress. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. That's very hard to believe. I would be willing to take a bet that that's not going to happen. I would feel... well. So, yeah. Okay. So assuming that that does it, what, like, like I'm curious as to, I'm assuming it does it right. And at one point, um, your generation is going to, and and you're right. I mean, the baby boomers are just hanging in there and like, it's a combination of like an enormous amount of people born at one time, the baby boom, um, intersects with, um, probably, I mean, I think I feel fairly safe in saying that they, they, the particularly in terms of, of people who have money intersects with the greatest period of time of of, of medical advances. Right. That have mm-hmm. elongated their lives and their time in the workplace and particularly for the wealthy. Right. Because I mean, when we talk about Congress. Yeah. I mean, they're all in the upper half of the income distribution and their lives have extended, you know, probably since from 100 years ago by 20 years, maybe more as an average, 25 years. And so they're hanging around longer. They're the first generation to hang around that long. Um, But let's say 10 years out, I think you're going to see a, a, a pretty big change. What happens to this generation? that has been basically said, we're going to put you in training from day one as if you were like, in a, you know, an Olympic uh, gymnastic, uh, you know, gymnastic uh, um, uh, member of a future member of the, I don't know, the, the USSR uh, gymnastic team. We're going to put you in day one. You're going to be doing this. And then you get there and you find out, oh, the Olympics have been canceled. Yeah, sorry. Um, I mean, what, 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 what happens to that generation? I think it could go uh, one of two ways. So, and I, I like to think about it even a couple decades further along. So, in 30 years, let's say, if we think about the world that millennials will be turning over to our children or even our grandchildren, just based on the ecological trends, never even in, if you throw in the, the exploitation trends, if those continue, the world will be handing over in 30, 40 years will be awful. It'll be a really, really terrible place. And we won't be able to blame our grandparents, our parents. No one is going to want to hear that. Uh, they won't care. It won't be an excuse. That'll be, that'll be our bad. So millennials will have to take responsibility for this world. Um, so that's one possibility. I think it's also possible that these trends create a crisis uh, in which the basic fundamental relations of American society are torn asunder, and we rebuild from some very different, better premises. So if we have a better world to turn over, it's not going to be because we tinkered and fixed little things. It's because we really thought about uh, and fought about the kind of world we wanted to live in. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you 
by making videos.